fall in Tallahassee. It's a wonderful time of year. The heat of the summer begins to fade away. The smell of barbecue begins to fill the air and the sound of the marching 100 can be heard from miles around. But something else happens as the autumn winds roll in. Football season at Florida a and University. This season, the FAMU football team has dazzled fans with win after win after win. A large part of the Rattlers' success in 2019 has been the quarterback-receiver duo of Ryan Stanley and Xavier Smith. Yeah, like, people just think it's just us, but it's really the offense co collectively. Like, we really put in our work day in and day out. We, we come to work every day. We do what we got to do. And then it's, it's times where at the practice, we just stand at the practice, get extra catches, you know, just running simple routes and stuff like that. So it all just kind of pays out to when we go out there. A lot of observers might think chemistry is only built on the field or in practice, but that's only part of the equation. Family football players are all about brotherhood, and that means building bonds outside of the field house. Well, you know, a lot of us, not just means that we all hang out off the field. Um, after a win, you know, we all know what we'll link up and do something. You know, to me, especially, especially just building brotherhood across the team. You wouldn't even think of me, and especially go out and eat every Thursday. Um, go out and eat with the O line sometimes. It's just like even uh, relationships you wouldn't think positions like quarterbacks and specialists, or I hang out with some D lines sometimes. It's just like that's the brotherhood on this team, not just positions where you think it would be. Um, obviously, we hang out, but um, you know, we just have a brotherhood across this locker room throughout position, position groups, and in every room, we, uh, you know, we just all hang out. Stanley and Smith are so close that Ryan taught Xavier a birthday present back in September. With Rattlers trailing Southern University 21-19, late in the fourth quarter, Stanley found Smith in the end zone for the game-winning score, a touchdown that would gain the attention of thousands, including former NFL star Chad Ochocinco Johnson. When he called it, I already knew it was funny. Like, <laughs> I already knew, like, yeah, I got to make this play, like, Everybody understand this is a big game. We got to make it happen right here. I believe it was number five, the safety, who uh, was the matchup we wanted on Zay. You know, Zay, Zay been killing them all night. And uh, when we got lined up, I seen, I seen who was over Zay. So I looked over the coach and I, I gave him the signal for that play that I wanted. And I already knew, you know, since last year, he ran that a few times and scored. So he said he went with it. Uh, got the ball, I dropped back. I looked off a little bit. So this, so this, Number five didn't know I was going to Zay. I got a little push over here, so I stepped up. Zay ran a great rock. Just put it back in the end zone, and the rest is history. I just caught it. Once I knew I had it secured, I kind of fell. And I heard, I really, I, I heard everybody scream. It was just loud, and I, I don't know, man. I just lost it. Like, bang, I just caught that pass. So, yeah, man, it was about right there in this area. That was crazy. I can't really dwell on that. Even though that was my birthday, I caught that on my birthday, so that that was that was amazing, but you know, I feel like the best is yet to come. Stanley has had the pleasure of throwing touchdown passes to not only Xavier Smith, but to Kareem Smith, Xavier's older brother. Both Xavier and Kareem were number 19, and according to Stanley, that's all he needed to know. Just get the ball at 19. <laughs> I was just, you know, his older brother, was, that's all he used to tell me when he was here, just throw it to 19 and it'll be good. And from the beginning, we always kind of said, like, we gonna take our own route no matter where we go, no matter what it is. We just gonna take our own route. So, him coming here, I wanted to do exactly what he did. But it was like, I know at a point in time where it's like, I gotta separate and kind of just do it my way and play the game the way I want to play the game. So it's really not trying to, like, fail his his shoes and nothing like that because when he came here he made some great plays and I just want to do the same thing so it's basically like I'm just doing what I'm doing and he did what he did so that's it. While at FAMU both players have been known for their playmaking abilities and athleticism however they have differing views on which one of them is actually the better athlete. Who's the better athlete out of you two? Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Playing quarterback, I know if I played quarterback, my touchdown to interception ratio would be totally different than his. Like reading defenses, 
you know, pre-snap process, all that, man, that's tough. I, I couldn't do it, so be fair. You got it. You know, they, they blitz us, but we're probably on our own 30-yard line. I just take a quick three-step drop and throw a screen to Zay. He takes it for about 60, 70 yards. That's just free stats for me, so, you know, if you check the stat sheet, it might seem like I have a good game, but half those times, I'm just throwing a little underneath drops to Zay. You know, just take them, take them all the way and just make me look good. While at FAMU, Stanley has learned how to deal with criticism, as he's not only recognized his mistakes, but owned up to them and has no intention of letting them define his destiny or who he is as a player. Just knowing quarterback position, you're either the hero or the zero. And, um, you know, I know it's been a lot of criticism since my freshman year I've been here, but I just use it as motivation. Um, I don't ever really, you know, let it, let it get to me or anything like that. Um, I know there's a lot of people who could just get on Twitter and it gives people with no credentials the, the chance to get out there and just critique me, but... You know, we have walk-out walk out tryouts once a year, every year. If anyone really thought they were better than me, they could have came and took my spot. And, um, you know, I just never really let the outside voices get to me. As long as this, the guys in this locker room and the inner circle, inner circle really believes in me and trusts in me, that's all I care about. With all of the on-field success that the duo is having, they know that their time as teammates is running out. Stanley, a redshirt senior, is nearing the end of his college career, while Smith, a sophomore, is at the dawn of his. I want to miss him tremendously because you know you only you only come a, a, come across a quarterback like this once in a lifetime. Like somebody who break three records in one year, you don't find too many guys who come in and break records that stood for a long time. So like, he gonna be missed, but you know. Still just gotta keep going on and on, like time ain't gonna stop, but he will be messed up. As the sun sets on the 2019 season, both players are tremendously grateful for Florida AM University and appreciative of how fans and the community have rallied around the program. Quite simply, they love FAMU. You know, I bleed orange and green. I've seen the ups, I've seen the downs, uh, all the history that's walked these halls, you know. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to FAMU for giving me the opportunity to play the game that I love over these past four or five years. I'm thankful, I'm grateful. Like, I, I just want to thank God because, man, I honestly never thought I'd be here. Like, it's truly a best blessing because I probably don't want to be nowhere else. Like, I'm glad this is where I'm at, being orange and green. Like, it's a family, it's a brotherhood, and it's like, man, nobody go, go as hard for their players as FAMU. Number 19, Xavier Smith, Stanley DeSmith.